Mm. So to kick off today's video, this is a mango mai tai uh, with some strawberries, blackberries, and some rum, and some other good stuff. Uh, click the link if you want to see the video of how to make this. Today we're going to be showing you how to do Mediterranean mahi-mahi with uh, some vegetables, a Greek yogurt base sauce, and caviar to top it so that we get the flavor of the ocean in every bite. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we've already had our mahi-mahi fillets sitting out. We're going to go ahead and create a quick marinade form. We're going to let them uh, marinate for about 30 minutes. So we'll go ahead and pop these in here. You can see they've been completely um, defrosted. So we just want to get them into a container that we can throw the marinade in and we just wanna make sure they get in there so that they actually will soak up all that marinade. So for our marinade, we're gonna get about two pinches of black pepper that's been ground up, two pinches of salt, we're gonna get two big pinches of mint, and then we're gonna get two pinches of dill. And then we're gonna take uh, about two tablespoons of lemon juice, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab some olive oil, and we're just gonna mix that in. Okay. Once we have that mixed in, we're just gonna go ahead and let that pour over the mahi mahi, and then we'll take a spatula and just try to get everything out. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside and let that start marinating. Uh, in the meantime, we've also got some grape tomatoes here. We're gonna go ahead and pull these out and we're just going to do a half slice on each of these. These over to the side. We've got some green beans that we've already chopped up, so we'll put these back over here and we're just gonna let those sit for a little bit. So we got our vegetables ready, uh, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to make a kind of a little bit of a, a crema, uh, a dill cream sauce to go over it. So we're going to get our, our mixing bowl out again that we used for the marinade for the fish. And we're going to go ahead and dump in about a cup of Greek yogurt. And we've got just a little bit of cream cheese here we're just going to mix into it. And we're just going to push that down a little bit just so it'll help it kind of mix in. And that'll just add a little bit of richness to it. Um, you could always just give it all Greek yogurt. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the leftover dill we had and we're gonna add about two, two to three big pinches. We're gonna take the mint and we're gonna add that. It's about three pinches. And then we're gonna add about a pinch of black pepper and two pinches of salt. And then I always like to add a little bit of vinegar and we'll add a little bit of lime juice at the end um, right before we're going to serve it just to give it a little bit more freshness. So now we're just going to mix it all together and then we're just going to let that sit. So before we start that, uh, we're just going to take our tomatoes and our green beans and we're just going to put a little bit of oil on each of them and a good pinch of salt for each of them and just let it sit on there for a little bit. So we'll go ahead and take our fish and just carefully get these out. What we'll go ahead and do is I'm going to put them so that the flat side is on the bottom. So we're going to let that cook. We got everything on high uh, and I got our griddler on 400 so we're just going to go ahead and lightly let this press down. Okay, so we can start hearing everything start to sizzle. So what we're gonna do, uh, just to make sure it stays nice and um, moist on the inside, it doesn't dry out, is we have all this extra marinade. I'm just gonna take all this marinade and just start letting it melt over it. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take the rest of the marinade now that I've done that, and I'm gonna pour half of it onto the tomatoes, and the other half's gonna go on to that. And we'll just let that sit for a little bit. Close it up again and let it start to get a nice tear on both sides. 
Alright, so we're starting to smell the fish, uh, so we're going to go ahead and check on it, and you can see it's starting to get some nice browning on it. So what we're going to do is I'm not going to take it off heat yet, how it looks on the bottom, so we can see the bottom still has a little bit left to go. So I'm just going to push these to the, the back of our uh, panini press, so we just have the grill on. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our green bean, put them in here, we'll give them a nice little swirl. So they get all that nice marinade over them that we already created with the fish. And we'll just go ahead and throw that on there. Uh, the goal isn't to get these super charred up or anything, but we're just gonna let them get a little bit over, a little bit of a cook, a little bit of crunch. We'll go ahead and start moving these over. In the meantime, we have our um, Greek yogurt sauce meat, so I have a little bit of lime juice. So I'm just gonna pop that in there, and that'll just help it give it a little bit of a, a brighter flavor. We'll get our whisk, and that'll help it along its way. And that lemon will work really nicely with the fish. Always give it a little taste test and see how these are coming along. Okay, so they're about done. They got some crunch to them. They still taste like green beans. Up some of that flavor from the fish though. So we're just gonna push that over and let it sit. We're gonna do the same thing with the tomatoes now. I'm starting the tomatoes last because they're gonna cook quickly and I don't want to overcook them. I just want to give them a little bit of a, a heat to them. And again, we're just gonna let these kind of distribute out, get them nice and warm. And just for a couple seconds, I'm gonna turn our uh, griddle back on let these get some heat from the top. So we got out our mystery ingredient as well. Today we're gonna to be trying this recipe with some uh, salmon caviar or salmon roe. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get out a little bit of these and just get them some broken up. And then we'll have to add a nice little salty flavor that'll bring a little bit of a flavor of the ocean into the mix. So, okay, so I think these are done. We're gonna turn all this off. And we'll go ahead and open this nice and slowly. I want to make sure that the fish hasn't stuck to the pan. We're ready to go. Everything looks really good. And uh, we'll start plating it up. Mmm, our Mahi Mahi is ready and smells really good. Hope you try it. And if you do, post a picture in Instagram and add hashtag Provecho DC so we can see. And don't forget to subscribe to Provecho. Also follow us on Instagram at ProvechoDC.